What is going on guys? The Balor Fan 85. I'm here with a solo review. Now, I don't have a build review, but guess what? Since the 23rd of June is coming, and that is going to be a very specific moment in AEW um, shop history, because the new AEW replica is coming, and of course, you know, Miss Balor Fan and I are going to get one, and you know we're going to review it right here. I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Now, we have a pretty decent AEW collection. You've seen the belts. Um, you've seen a little bit of the bubbly. If you haven't seen this, um, this is American Rebel Cigars, Kaz and Cody. Um, but you haven't seen like some of the figures we have. And we have a lot of them. So I'm going to try to go in order from when we got them. I'm going to try to de uh, detail every bit of what we've got. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun because AEW in just a short amount of time, They've come out and they've completely um, changed the game in, in figures and that they're releasing them so fast. I mean, it's it's really hard to keep up with them. As a matter of fact, this may be, the, the set I have may be the last full set that, that I buy because they're just coming out way too quick. And they've also got some more, um, some different, um, they've got Unrivaled right now. I think they've got Unmatched come out, which is a new series. Um, so this may be it for a little while. I mean, you guys can't see this, but behind this camera and around where you can't see, this is a small room. We're almost loaded to the kill. So, like I said, we'll start from, I've got the first through the, I think, fifth set. Um, and also variants of different things. Mind you, I'm not going to mention the chases if I don't have them. Luckily, I do have a chase. Just, just one. I have two of the same chase. Um... So that being said, this is going to be kind of segmented between um, series. Let's go ahead and get started with the first series. All right, now this was the first set that that came out. Um, just a pro and a con about this set. First off, it consisted of Cody Rhodes, Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson, Brandy Rhodes, and Chris Jericho. This was the first set of Unrivaled. Um, and I got to admit, I was bought hook, line, and sinker. Uh, I'm not a full-fledged figure collector. I guess you'd say I am now, but I wasn't a full-fledged figure collector. A lot of people were kind of upset about this set because of the skin tones, um, the facial scans, a lot of different things. Now, they've since, this is Unrivaled 1A is what they're calling it now. They do have a 1B out where they've kind of fixed the skin tones. So, the thing about this set, the, the ringside collectibles, which is where I've gotten all of my AEW ringside figures or AEW unrivaled figures with the exception of my chases my two chases um, when they released this it was specifically set in Walmart for the I think the first two sets maybe the first set um, the thing about the Walmart one Walmart said though none of them had brandy you can only get this from ringside collectibles so this figure is actually pretty sought after I actually this is the only set I bought to complete sets up. Um, I have this one that I'm keeping mitten card. Um, I have another set that I took out of the box. I kind of wish I hadn't have taken Brandy out now, but you know, what are you going to do? I still have the uh, out of box Brandy and the in box Brandy. So I really enjoy this first set. Of course, you're going to have the young bucks. Of course, you're going to have Kenny. Of course, you're going you're gonna to have everybody in the set. This would be the first set that you would have released if you had all of these stars. These were basically the the alpha if you will and the omega of the aew i mean we were at the we were at the 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 i don't the rally and all of these guys were here and and we got to meet all of these guys with the exception of omega and jericho all of them very nice of course this is going to be the first set i'm so glad it's the first set and i'm, I'm happy you had you had cody cody had a sledgehammer Omega had two sets of hands. Um, I think Matt and Nick, I don't think they had anything, but they had the really cool attire. Now, I do have a set out of box, but I haven't really done anything with them other than I put a display up um, in front of uh, my ring and a couple other things. So you had Brandy. Brandy didn't have anything, but Brandy Rhodes actually really, um, she got this figure out there. She had a couple of sets that she took around everywhere. By the way, shout out to Cody Rhodes and Brandy for the birth of their daughter. Um, as 
parents who have recently had a daughter within the last seven or eight months, I can tell you it's life changing. It is one of the best feelings you will ever have. Um, so congratulations to them. And then you had Chris Jericho. This was one of his first tires where he came out looking like the rock star. I think this was, I don't think he was the pain maker here. He could be, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but just a great way to start off the series. Um, I think there was more positive than negative with this series. And again, the attires, um, if you look on the back, each one of them um, showed where this attire came from. Um, this was double or nothing. These two attires were double or nothing, double or nothing, double or nothing. Actually, all of these attires were double or nothing. So, uh, and they all took place in 2019. So, just a, a great way to start off because double or nothing was their first uh, official pay per view. And um, it went off without a hitch. It may have been the first. I can't remember if it was this or all out. I could be off right now, but my brain is fried. Um, but just a great way to start off the series. I enjoyed it. Um, they had another um, thing that debuted with this. Let me see if I can bring him out here and over to segment two. Okay, so this is the little bit of the bubbly Chris Jericho. Um, this was actually one of the coolest packages I've ever seen because it was a bottle of the bubbly. And if you look right here, it's pretty much a lifelike bottle, life-size bottle of the bubbly. Um, I didn't open this one. This is one I have mint in box. Um, this is one I opened up. I really love this this Jericho. You had a, this is where the birth of a little bit of the bubbly came in. So you had your catering table, you had your bubbly, you had a couple of solo cups, you had your AEW microphone. I love that Chris is in his uh, little bu little bit of the bubbly shirt already. Um, may have been a bit premature to have this shirt on this figure, but oh well. And I love how you had all of the uh, the tattoos on them. Looks like there may have been. Try to double check. There's the Rolling Stones um, lips. If you got a mummy over here, there's the Jason mask. Okay, so all of the tattoos look pretty good. But uh, I really enjoyed this. One thing I, I will say about these figures, and I'm not sure if this is different from a lot of the other figures that you collect, it is a little bit hard to stand them up. Their joints are a little bit stiff. But other than that, a um, little bit of the bubbly. You got Chris Jericho on the back with the belt. Um, great first champion, by the way. If you're going to have a champion, um, why not lay a champion? So this is wave one with a little bit of the bubbly Jericho. We're going to go into wave two now. Okay, so this is AEW Unraveled Wave 2, and it consists of John Moxley, Hangman Adam Page, MJF, Ray Phoenix, Penta, and Dustin Rhodes. Um, so the Mox over here is the first Unraveled, um, I don't know if you'd call it a basic, it's the first one in the line, not a chase, or not a little bit of the bubbly, they came with the belt. Uh, I do got a... a throw something about the little bit of the bubbly one. It did come with an AEW belt. It is currently sitting on my out of uh, card um, Kenny Omega. I completely forgot to put it on there. My apologies. Um, so let's see. So Mox's gear is from AEW Revolution. This is from All Out in 2019. These are all 2019. No, I'm sorry. This is Revolution 2020. All Out 2019. Double or Nothing 2019. Double or Nothing 2019. Double or Nothing 2019, and Dynamite in 2019. So this is a set, and again, I'm not really going to mention the chases unless I have them, um, because I just, you know, I, it, I've got too much on the mind right now as it is without mentioning all the chases. Fortunately, I do happen to have not one, but two MJF chases. These are the one of a thousand chases. Now, up until this coming up, um, series, or maybe the last one, I can't remember. There was a 1 in 500 and a 1 in 1,000 chase. So I got the 1 in 1,000 chase right here of MJF, and I happen to have two of them. One of them may look broken. I like to say it's the most humble MJF had ever been in his life in figure form. So uh, I do got to say, this may be one of my favorite series in the lines. This Penta is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love the Penta. Um, you got Hangman Adam Page. This is his first one. He's got the bull rope. Um, MJF's got the scarf. This right here, he comes with a hand with the uh, the AEW ring. But this is absolutely one of my favorites, especially Mox with the belt down here. The Nightmare, or 
not the Nightmare, I'm sorry, but the Natural Dustin Rhodes. I absolutely love um, his any of his um, entrance attires uh, with the makeup and everything. The red and black, I love what he's doing right now with the blue and black. So this is AEW Unraveled Season 2. Season 2, Wave 2, whatever you want to call it. Um, again, I'm not much of a figure aficionado. I just happen to collect AEW because I'm a big AEW fan. So, uh, that being said, let's take a look, if I haven't already, I'll let you take a look at these. And then we'll go to, not Season, or not Wave 3, um, there were a couple of other things that came out in between Wave 1 and Wave 2 that I kind of want to show. Because at one point in time, I tried to get every piece of, or every figure in the AEW Unrivaled set. The problem is, the chases, the 1 in 500, um, any of them, are going $1,000 or more. Um, these 1 in 500s um, go three, three fifty. Sometimes you can get them a little bit cheaper. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to sell this extra one. So, uh, I got two. So, let's go over to not Wave 3 yet, but let's show a couple of other additions I have to this collection before I go to Wave 3. Alright, so these don't, these are not figure, these are not figures per se, but they have figures in them, with the exception of this. I wanted to add this because there are two variants of this. This was the, the basic version, this was released in the US, um, just a stunt ring, um, just your basic ring. This was released in the UK. So the difference is this had an exclusive Cody Rhodes, so I had to jump on it. They, they weren't the cheapest, but they weren't the most expensive on eBay. Um, you can find them. I think they were a little over $100 when I started looking for them. They may have gone up since then. They may have dropped since then. So this is the action ring. You can basically find these anywhere at Walmart. Normally this and the toy, ring, uh, the toy belt are the only ones you can find at Walmart. Unless you happen to be there when they get a shipment of figures in. Um, figures are, are they're kind of, once they show up, everybody's got them. Um, again, this is the UK uh, variant. I really am glad I got this UK variant. It's got the Cody. Um, he's in his silver and red trunks. So, really happy I got both of these. And again, at the time, um, even up until recently, I really considered buying everything AEW. Again, it's a little bit harder to do now because there's just so much stuff coming out. Um, so, we'll put these aside. And we'll look at this big, big boy right here. This is the AEW Authentic Scale Ring. Now, I bought two of these. I bought two of these. I was planning on opening one, displaying it, and keeping the other in the box. Um, so far, I've kept both of them in the box. Absolutely love this. Uh, I do hope eventually that I can uh, maybe let one breathe, open it up, and check it out. This came with the exclusive King Omega over here. So, um, by the release of Wave 2, there were already two Kenny Omegas. I think there were three Cody Rhodes, if you counted the chase. Um, two Chris Jericho's. They did a lot of um, releasing of the same star. At the time, you know, they did have, um, I don't want to say a limited roster, but they knew who their stars were and they wanted to push them. So this is the authentic scale ring. And I had to jump on this, um, I think when it started on AEW, this is a ringside collectible by the way, ringside exclusive, um, had to jump on it, I think it was around $120, it may have been $100, I can't remember, I've since seen it, um, when they started getting uh, more limited, the price started going up, it's, I don't want to say a uh, ringside collectibles has never done that before, but it was one of the first times I've seen the more limited the run gets, the more they start upping that price. So, I'm glad I got two of them. Um, I know they're coming out with a new one now with referee Aubrey Edwards um, as the the bonus collectible over here. I've seen these bonus collectibles go for $7, the bonus figure, go for around $75. Um, so, this is a really good investment. I'm glad I've got two of them. And these authentic scale rings, they're, they're pretty nice to have. Maybe again, one day I'll open it up and uh, let it breathe. Okay, another thing that was done right after Wave 2, right before Wave 3, um, AEW Jazzwear, they had a ringside exclusive um, Blood and Guts 2-pack. This was to commemorate um, Double or Nothing, which was Cody versus Dustin, in a very bloody, very phenomenal match. So, they did this. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people um, say about this figure that they don't like is the fact that Cody is so much shorter than Dustin. Um, the figure is just a lot shorter. 
Um, as far as the package, the package is awesome. I mean, you got the blood spurt all over the figure. It's black and red. The very back of it, it's got Cody and Dustin after the match. Just such a great, great figure. I'm so glad they came up with it. And uh, this is one that I had to have doubles of. I did part with the, the first one, but I don't really sell a lot. I ended up gifting it out. But I am very glad I got this. This is a great figure. Um, and it was, again, just the prelude right into Wave 3. So we're fixing to get into Wave 3 now. Alright, so if you're wondering when is this video going to end, trust me, this is how I felt um, ordering these. Because every time I thought I had one wave ordered and ready and I was caught up, another wave would come right out. Um, it would almost, it, it, I mean, it would just be rapidly. So Wave 3, this is when I kind of started getting uh, a little bit of fatigue on the AEW figures. But then they came out with some of the really greatest ones um, in the line, in the series. So let's go ahead and come over here. This is Pac. This is one that uh, not a lot of people like. The head scan is just off. And i got to agree with them. Not one of my greatest figures. Uh, not one of my favorite figures. Coming over here to Rio. I love how they incorporated the belts. Um, we've already seen the AEW title. This is the second one where... Um, this is the second title that's been featured on a figure. So I'm glad that they came out with that. Orange Cassidy, by far, one of my favorite um, figures. I love just, this screams Orange Cassidy. This, they, they captured his character perfectly. I love how he even had the, uh, the half-hearted thumbs up. I love all the denim on it, the figure. This is one of the greatest figures. Going into the next one, Darby, this is absolutely maybe my second favorite figure in the Unrivaled set. Right behind Penta, I absolutely loved that figure. But Darby, I love this. The chase they came out, I believe it was a 1 of 500 chase. Um, Rio, I think, was 1 of 1,000. I really, really wanted this chase more than um, any other chase. Just the, the, you know, I believe the chase had the, the tree that was coming out, if I'm not mistaken. Either the tree, I, I'm pretty sure it was that one. Um, and then you got your second release of the Young Bucks over here. But Darby and Orange Cassie, the greatest set, or the greatest figures in this set. Um... But they, they, you, you could see the, the, the improvement in quality in the sets as they come out. You know, that first set had to have a re-release of the, the Variant 1B, which, you know, they fixed their skin tones and, and worked on a couple of other things, if I'm not mistaken. You can see they were starting to get it down with the exception of Pac in his head. I didn't even mind Riho over here. I thought Riho, you know, they, they kind of got her, in my opinion, no matter what you thought. Um, I think it, it looks more like her. This was a great line though. You had Pac, you had Rio, you had Orange Cassidy, Darby, um, and even the Bucks. By the way, this uh, Pac was all out 2019. Rio was Dynamite on, in 2019. This was Dynamite 824 of 2020. This was Fighter Fest of 2019. This was Dynamite. Both of these were Dynamite 2020 in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, big fan of this line. And like, I think we're halfway through the set now. So. We've got three, and I think I've got five sets so far. Six just came out, or six is, is on pre-order if it hasn't already come out. And then there's a couple other things. So let's go ahead and get into between Series 3 and Series 4. They had another, um, another I believe it was a Ringside exclusive. Uh, actually, I don't think it's a Ringside exclusive. So let's get over to that before we go into Wave 4. Okay, just when they started waving, or sending all these waves out, um, every once in a while they throw in um, a collector's item. You know, you saw the, the little bit of the bubbly. You saw the Blood Brothers. The next thing they did was to commemorate... Um, and, by the way, this is a ringside exclusive. I see it now. So they did this to commemorate um, Cody Rhodes winning the TNT title. This was a double or nothing in Jacksonville, Florida on 2020. Jacksonville is a couple hours away from us. I missed this. We were able to go to All Out last year, which we really, really enjoyed. Um... This has actually got a bit of the entrance behind them, uh, complete with the pyro, complete with the unfinished TNT title that Ron Edwards and, um, com was commissioned to, to complete. Um, due to COVID, wasn't able to complete it, so they ran with what they had. This was still in um, basic raw material form for the most part. Um, what I like about this, this comes with a couple of other heads. This comes with his American Nightmare shirt that he ripped up and um, also a couple of fists. I love the packaging of this. I'd love to take it out one day and actually display it. I bought two of these. Um, one in hopes to maybe do that, but 
I haven't got around to it yet. So um, just this black and purple packaging, I love the fact, if you look at the back back here, this is actually um, kind of like a Titan Tron deal. You can also see through it though. When you see through it, you can kind of see Cody's silhouette of the figure. I do love this TNT title. Um, this may be my favorite piece in the AEW figure section that we have. Um, just because it is just so cool to have. And, and they killed it with the packaging. Um, just like the Blood Brothers. Just like the little bit of the bubbly. Uh, I've got nothing good, thing, good things to say about this. Um, again, the Double or Nothing. Uh, this was May the 23rd of 2020. This was actually a few days after our anniversary. So, uh, would have loved to win with that. And again, Cody Rhodes being the first TNT champion. Can't say I didn't see it coming. But I can't say I'm disappointed. So, uh, this was made right before... Where are we at now? Like I said, this is exhausting to even think about. If, if I seem frazzled, it's because I have... I've been showing them kind of in number of... They're, each of them are numbered. With the exception... Um, even the chases are numbered. I just don't have those chases, so I kind of went in numerical order. So what you saw was one through this, one, you know, this through this, this through this. Uh, this is number 27, so we have now seen, I think, 24 figures so far, figure sets, not counting the rings. So if you're exhausted, bear with me, I'm exhausted too. Um, let's get to wave four. All right, so you're here. We've made it to wave four, and guess what? We've still got another. I know. It just... Actually, this is a good thing. I, I love the fact that we have all these waves. I love the fact that we have such a great AEW collection. Um, this is wave four, and this is the first wave, I think. I enjoyed every figure. Um, there wasn't necessarily one in particular that had something bad to it. I'm trying to think right offhand. So you have um, Matt Hardy over here. You have Santana, Ortiz. You have Kenny Omega. You have Cody. You have Sammy Guevara. Um, I think the only graph a lot of people had was was there was another Omega and another Cody. That being said, they're not bad. I actually enjoyed these figures in this line. Um, my favorite out of this was probably Sammy Guevara, where you had the uh, the signs in the background and everything. I think they captured his likeness pretty well. Um, Santana and Ortiz, enjoyed those too. I love the fact that you know they had all of their accents um, come with it. Um, again, you can't go wrong with Matt Hardy. Omega and Cody, you know, you can never have too many Omegas and Cody's unless you can have too many Omegas and Cody's in which I'm sorry I, I can't I, I think I have three or four um, of them now um, series four wasn't too bad I, I, like I said I enjoyed it um, this was from Dynamite in March um, of 2020 in Jacksonville uh, both of these were from Dynamite in February of 2020 this was all out in Chicago of 2019. This was Fighter Fest in 2019, and this was a Dynamite in 2019. So again, um, the one that stood out in this was Guevara. I really loved the Guevara series or the Guevara figure in this. I hope they do make some more of those. Um, Cody and Omega. You know, I love the fact that Santana and Ortiz came into it. And again, you know. I think we have a couple of Matt Hardy figures, especially from the WWE. We have the uh, the entrance debut from where he came, or I'm sorry, the 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 re debut where he re debuted at WrestleMania 33 with Jeff Hardy. In which case, we were there and enjoy every bit of it. Um, that is up there, as a matter of fact. Maybe I'll get it down one day and show you. I actually have a lot more figures than this. I'm just I don't consider myself a figure collector. Um, we buy a lot in hopes to get them signed, and hopefully, you know, we live. A couple hour, a couple hours away from Jacksonville, and hopefully, um, we can get down there and and get all of these signed. I know the clock is running out. The clock is ticking. Eventually, they've already started. Um, they're going to start moving to other venues now, and it's not going to be stuck in Jacksonville. So, uh, AW, if you hear me, or if you see this, you know, I'd love to get all of these signed. There's a lot of them. But uh, that being said, this is wave four, and we have. One more wave. Now, granted, there is a wave six already out. I haven't pre-ordered those, and I don't even have them out. There's also a Jungle Boy Luchasaurus exclusive. I have pre-ordered those. They have not come. So wave five is the last in my collection as of right now. Um, whether or not I keep ordering them, that's entirely. I'm, I'm not entirely. I'm, I'm not entirely sure because um, each set costs um, over $100 uh, on ringside. I think it's around $150. And, you know, they just keep coming out, and it just keeps going and going and going, and it's really hard to keep up with them. 
fortunately we have so far, but this is series four. Let's move on to series five. Ah, and we have made it to series five. And this may be my favorite out of the line. This, this may be my favorite series out of the uh, AEW Unrivaled series. You have not one, not two, but three belts in this series. You have another world title, which I believe this is the third or fourth time you've seen this title in this line. Uh, maybe not seen it in my collection entirely, but I know the little bit of the bubbly, the first John Moxley, this John Moxley. Um, there's at least three. I believe the the Jericho Chase in Wave One had the belt also, so there's four. There may be more. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. But then you had the debut of the tag team champions, uh, tag team titles with Scorpio Sky and Frankie Kazarian. I did love this group. We got to meet them um, at the at the rally at, at AEW's first ever event which was the AEW rally really cool guys uh, I also I wasn't a fan of the title when it came out uh, the tag team championships but they have grown on me a lot and they've kind of become my favorite tag team title um, in any promotion right now now that doesn't mean they're my all-time favorite um, that's reserved for I believe the Attitude Era tags um, the the Raw brand Attitude Era tags um, followed by the Impact tags uh, the classic tags for WWF um, this this is somewhere this is definitely top ten, but it was <clears throat> excuse me it was nice to see Scorpio Sky and Kazarian um, brought into this series. Of course, you've got another Mox. I love the fact that uh, they put it over his shoulder um, like this. Also, Mox was a great champion. You had a Hangman Adam Page, which was um, this should be right around somewhere around when he started the the drinking gimmick. Um, Really enjoy Hangman Adam Page. Got to meet him too. But the best for last, you have the Jungle Express over here. You have Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. Luchasaurus, they spare no no detail goes unnoticed. I love this Luchasaurus. Um, this jumps up to my favorite figure. Um, it may even be tied with Penta. I absolutely love this Jungle uh, this Luchasaurus figure. Jungle Boy, they killed it. On Jungle Boy, his likeness is is definitely right there. This may be my favorite series in the line. Um, of course, you had a repeat with Mox, you had a repeat with Hangman Adam Page, but you had two new tag teams debuted. This is the first time you saw two tag teams, I believe, in um, an Unrivaled set. They killed it on this one. And again, um, coming over here, John Moxley. This is from All Out 2020. This is All Out 2020. Um, Dynamite 2019, Dynamite 2019, All Out 2020, Double or Nothing 2019, Dynamite 2019. This may be, um, most of them were from last year. You had a couple from the year before last. Um, again, you had the debut of the uh, AEW Tag Team Championships. You had Mox right here with the All Out um, attire. Just, what can I say? And... I, I don't want to stop collecting because the the quanti the product is not there. The product is definitely still there. The problem is, like I said, they just keep coming out over and over and over, and it's really hard to keep up with. Um, but if you've not got a chance to collect these, um, there are a few. Go back and look, see which ones you like. Find them on eBay. I'm sure you can get them on eBay. Granted, you'll probably pay more than than a regular retail price, but you know, these I believe are still out on shelves as of the time I did this. Um, you got Wave 6 coming out. Wave 4 may still be coming out. But uh, I definitely, I'd love to keep collecting them just to say I had every figure. With the exception of the chases, um, I just can't afford $1,000 or more for a, a figure. I mean, a belt, yes, and we've spent, we've spent that much on belts, but just not a figure. Uh, I'll keep to my basics. I love my basics. Um, but I think that's pretty much it, guys. You've seen all five waves, with the exception of the chases. You saw the rings. You saw the, the Blood Brothers 2-pack. You saw the Cody TNT Championship. Um, these are my figures in the AEW collection. You've seen my belts already. That's pretty much it as far as AEW goes. I do have some other stuff. Um, maybe you'll see them in another video. Maybe you won't. It just depends. I want to try to keep it to belts, but I just had so many of these to show off. I figured I'd put it in one long video, get it out of the way, 
and then if I buy some more um, sets, maybe if I get series 6 through 10, maybe do it later on. Um, and maybe I'll be able to talk a little bit better because, again, it's just kind of hard when you have so many figures and you're trying to do a quick video. Um, I'd rather you guys see this, so ignore the talking. Look and see what's going on, see what you like, and see if you want to collect it. With that being said, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you guys down the road.